welcome back to the long-awaited mid game and late game portion of they are billions now if you remember last time when we did uh early game um it was a different map well it's for the reason that my save game file got wiped so we are now looking at a different map now for the purpose of uh this guide video i decided to not specifically find a perfect map and i decided to find something that is more a little bit like very mediocre or maybe even a bit challenging but that's beyond the point the mid game is kind of the same for regardless of the map that you play the decision making behind the things that you need to do tend to be well they can be different but i personally follow a very strict order where i want to go how i want to expand and so on and so on all right so let's take it one step at a time last time when we ended it was after the first raid I had very similar situation that I had in the early game guide where the raid hit me over here and I was very close to actually dying because it split from here and here. Uh, so the raid split and I had to do a lot of micro with the ranger but that's fine as long as you have like ballistas and stuff up and running you can, you can kite them. Now we do have two towns here, one here and one here. So. Uh, in cases like that when you have especially when you have two towns uh, and this one is big by the way uh you want to make sure that you have i would say up to four ballistas so for example over here we'll definitely need a, like another ballista uh for the purpose of the guide of course i'm gonna be pausing right so right now we have three ballistas up north uh the reason why i put three ballistas over here is because those two ballistas were shooting consistently on the zombies which means that you're going to be pulling, you know, harpies. So I put a third ballista here just in case I start pulling in too many runners. Now, the food supplies are very limited so far in the map. Uh, I have only as much as four farms, five farms so far. So that's it. That's all the food I have. I'm missing two colonists from uh, the next mare. So I'm looking to find some extra food somewhere, which in this case, I have lookout tower here, which showed me this side. So I have decided to expand this way. Now, typically what I do when I have towns next to me like this, I just put down ballistas and I leave those towns the way they are. Uh, I do, however, try to destroy some of these buildings when they're this close. What I usually do is I put the ballistas in a distance where it shoots the building so i get rid of a couple of them in order th this is very important because you need to be able to put traps here against incoming raids later the way to expand especially in a case where you're not given that much farmland and most of that farm is well up here in the north which is like not even reachable because going anything past this point is impossible there's a stone patch here and since there's a stone patch here, I can't push this more further because I wouldn't have space for traps. Uh, so yeah, for this map purpose, I have decided to expand this way. That's a good amount of food. It's slightly up north, not even slightly, but quite a bit. Another thing is that right about now, you're looking to get a stone workshop. Around day 20 to 22, <clears throat> or three even, you want to make sure that you get this uh, stone workshop down. It is fairly important. Uh, you want to get a bank as soon as possible. Even if that bank only gives you two, three hundred income, whatever houses you upgrade under the influence of that bank is going to greatly boost your economy later on. So we're going to go ahead and unpause now finally. It took me quite a while to explain that. But, uh, all right. Our so, forces are in danger. first things first. Oh, there goes that tower. Go I mean, that building. Uh, looks like I'm gonna need energy. Uh, yeah, I think I had to delete something here. I think I had to delete part of my energy, so we don't have that. 
While we're waiting for that energy, I'm gonna already start to slowly clean out with my ranges here. One step at a time. Do need to be careful here, that's a lot of runners to the east. Now, since this is going more to the northeast side, looks like we don't have that many runners here. So we could get like, we could push over here, get the ballistas down here and get like two more farms here. That's probably the plan. Yeah, I have a couple of sections that are not exactly. What, what you can do or what I typically do is I have standing ranges against these type of sections. It looks like the soldier is doing a lot of noise there, but we'll, 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 we'll fix that. We'll fix that in a moment. Yeah, I use standing ranges like this one in sections like that. Let's take a look here. I don't exactly. Oh, that's a lot of food. We might actually. There's the harpy that I was talking about, and she's dead. That's why I have three ballistas there right now because I'm not. I'm not entirely Your sure. Needs a mayor. Went into resources. I guess we'll go with the resources. Units under attack. Pretty good, actually. Uh, we can get 32 here if we build one more. Attention. Building completed. Oh. What? Be oh, looks like we had a harpy here. Okay. Uh, I think we're good here. We can move our ranges and stuff. Now, it looks like I might change a little bit of my destination for expansion because over here is much easier to expand to, actually. But both of these east sections are good. I tend to ignore the towns as much as I possibly can. And let's go ahead and turn this on also. I had to turn that off because I ran out of energy at some point. And yeah. Uh, this is where you want to find... Uh, good time to research snipers usually I want to get the snipers going I always get the snipers going after I get the bank bank is super important it gives you more uh, more income so you you want to do that you want to get that bank before that food truck is appealing by the way um, you want to get the bank before you start producing snipers or if you have the time for it, you can get like one or two snipers while you are while you're waiting for the bank. Like for example, right now, if you have time and you have snipers already researched, you can definitely start already pushing for uh, snipers if you want. Yeah, sections like this are really hard to push out because I can't separate my ranges at all. Which means they are grouped up in this little tunnel and they make too much noise like that. Try to move them out though. It looks like this might be a pocket here, which means that getting this food might be easier than getting the food up north. Alright, so let's figure out the bank. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna have to delete farm here which is bad but sometimes you have to do that because that is by far the best Our bank that I'm gonna get a harpy here yeah. okay that's really strange location for a harpy it is directly to my east that's what I was talking about like when you when you have units grouped up like that, it's Our just horses are in danger. It's it's really hard to expand like that. So the easier way to do it would Attention. be from this joke Building over completed. here and we're gonna we're, we're going to do exactly that because yeah. it's not going to work out like this over here. here okay, we looks like we can get one farm here. Oh. Not yet, but soon. Attention. I lost Building a couple of ranges. I guess I wasn't really I wasn't really focused enough. Yeah. I was thinking about what I want to say rather than that so yeah two options here either i can start going this way here which i'm probably gonna do both here or out of all honesty you know what we're gonna do we're gonna put all the uh snipers on this side and ooh, that would be an amazing one 
unfortunately we can't build this yet because whenever you have zombies this close do not ever build a farm i mean you can build a farm if you feel if you feel like being really aggressive with it you can do it but i wouldn't recommend it you want to clear it out a bit before you put that farm down you want to you want to feel that okay it's, it's kind of safe it may seem like it's a lot of soldier centers that I'm making, but uh, you have to decide how many soldier centers you want. I opt to go with three because I'm looking at my food situation around me. Okay, so how do you decide how many soldier centers you want to get up and running? Looking at my situation right now, we only have one sniper. Well, two snipers at day 25. We're about to get raided again, which is actually terrible. Uh, having like no snipers at all at this time is pretty bad so typically I go like okay well I have only two snipers at day 25 well I should probably build three soldier centers just to catch up with the unit production however if you can get the snipers going earlier let's say at day 21 or something then two soldier centers is typically way more than enough then by day like 30 or something, you would have about 35, 34 of them, which is way more than enough. Okay, in a situation like that, when you see harpies coming in, what you want to do is just pull everyone back for a moment. And when you see so many runners coming in, as you saw over there, just pull your units back for a second. The aggro stops immediately when you pull them back. Uh, this is when I usually start upgrading into stone houses. Now, upgrading into stone houses really depends how much, like, stone you have around you. Now, if I look at my stone situation, I see a lot of stone. Like, there's, there's a lot of stone patches that I could get. And there's not much you can do here other than just keep pumping your snipers out and start using them. But you want to make sure... Make sure that you have at least one ballista to help your snipers out. Right about now, uh, around day 25, 26 is when I start getting all the stone patches around my base. I don't usually do that before that time because... Alright, so let's talk about it. It's not a good idea to get your stone patches, like all of them. Because... The thing here is that what do you do with the stone? If you're not pushing stone houses yet, there's no reason to build a quarry that is just eating up your workers and your uh, money. So, not exactly worth it, right? The expansion is gonna go this way. Uh, a food like this one is super easy to get because it's directly to the east. So we're gonna put a ballista here now because there's a big chance that it's gonna hit me there. East has several sections, so we're looking at a potential split here. Yeah, we're looking at a potential split here and here. It might be a good idea to put traps on both sides. What do you want now? Great. My bow is ready. Are you sure? Straight to the heart. Okay. Uh, looks like we're struggling. It seems to be going more to the north. Units under attack. Like we're struggling here a bit. We're gonna get the... Since I have snipers on the other side, I'm gonna... Yeah, we're... Oh, that split was... Like I said, we're, we're, we were looking at a potential split. Building completed. Yes, tell me what to kill. We're gonna lose a couple of ranges here. Oh, I barely got the traps on time, so try not to lose our units. That is super bad. We're not looking very hot here right now. Oh boy, that farm is gonna go down. I knew something like this was gonna happen. I wasn't prepared for that. I got raided from the east. It's just a really tough situation to be in. Alright. All the way. 
Not a whole lot I can do here other than just take the losses here. Uh, right, so things didn't exactly go smooth here. Let's just be all honest here. Things did not exactly go smooth. I knew something like this was gonna happen also. I don't wanna lose the soldier, but we're gonna have to do that. Sorry, Bob. And whenever something like this happens, I try to typically kite them away, so we're gonna have to... I'm not entirely sure if we can get this under control, but I'll try my best. I wasn't prepared for that raid. I was still in the middle of expansion on this side. I never built ballistas there either, which was a mistake, by the way. I would strongly recommend that you would... I'm using the traps that I have here. If you if you run into the same kind of situation when you start getting uh, overrun or something goes wrong, you know a split is coming and you know that, oh crap, I don't get my ballistas and stuff on time and I don't really have time to build walls and stuff either. Um, when things like this happen, you want to use your rangers as kind of like a meat shield, quote unquote, and just pull the runners further away to get rid of the aggro for a second at least every second your snipers are not shooting they pull in less and less so this this will ease up the pain especially when you don't have that many snipers yet now something that i did before that i bumped a couple of uh, snipers before the farm goes down because i knew i'm gonna lose the farm so i use i spent as much money as possible to keep training uh to keep training snipers while all this is happening now on the positive side we're getting this side cleaned out now which is good because we were gonna expand this side anyway all right looks like we're gonna be pulling our snipers back a little bit south because i want to get this food also here and the food truck we can get in a moment Go ahead and get the ballistas down here first. Now, your goal when it comes to winning, your goal is to get at least 30 snipers going before they... 34. This, this is why you should make your goal. Always. Absolutely always. Try to get about up to 30 snipers, I would say, is a good number for that purpose. Uh, the next thing you want to research is uh, power plants. Uh, super important. Uh, but it's very dependent on how much wood production you have. But we have a very good amount of wood production right now. We're looking at 98 wood production. With that, I could build two power plants and they save your space it's more about saving space because you could keep building these as well but there's not really any point in doing that if you can get power plants if you have the wood production always absolutely always go for the power plants now something that you should get used to is keep space between your uh mills with that space between the mills, you can place down things like soldier centers, power plants, because you keep the extra space between them. Like, for example, I could put another power plant right there, which is, like, pretty good, right? Your focus needs to be on your stone deposits now. Your quarries. Like, we're gonna have to delete one just to get the five here. So, try to get all your quarries, all the stone possible, because... Now is the time to go for stone houses. Now, I don't make a decision yet as to whether I expand north or south. Not until I see... Alright, so with this much food, you're, you're basically looking for more space to build. That's, that's, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for space. And I always ask myself, alright, which direction has more space? If I look at north side, it's pretty clear to me that this looks like pretty good space here. 
technology it doesn't even matter how it opens up but that's already very good looking space so what i'm gonna do in the south we're gonna stay here for a little bit clean this out and we're gonna stay here for a bit clean it out and then move move back to north to get extra space for housing now it's better to have energy already stacked up and ready to go than it is you sitting a couple of days waiting for the energy uh day 34 you're gonna get raided again so we're gonna go ahead and pull these ranges back the little that we have left after the situation that we had you're gonna need the ranges to clear out the direction where you're getting raided from But all of my sides are pretty clean at the moment. Like we can get a good amount of traps here, a good amount of traps here. But you want to make sure that, all right, let's say you have pack, you, you can see a pack of runners over here or here, for example. You want to get your ranges over there and clean it out a bit because you want sides to be prepared before the raid. Right, this map is very awkward and South could hit us in multiple different sides. It could even go over here. The 34 raid is pretty big. I would strongly advise that you have at least two, minimum of two ballistas against that raid. If possible, if possible, try to have three. I don't have space for free ballistas right now, so... Okay. It's like it's going to hit us over here somewhere. It could also go here. We have three ballistas here. Well, potentially four ballistas. Now, let's talk about how many traps you need. It doesn't matter how many you need. Just put down as much as you can, because... Let's be honest, you can always delete the traps later. It's not really a big deal. Just put down more than you need. If you have the resources, then just do it. Alright, we are currently making... 1,100 income at day 35, which is not a good income. So, in a situation like this, do not focus on making units. Stop your unit production for a moment. I'm focused on upgrading the houses to stone. They are attacking. Uh, but right about now, make sure that you get Stone Walls researched at least. Next trade is slightly easier to defend with Stone Walls. Well, it just makes it easier. You don't specifically need Stone Walls for the next trade. But yeah, it just makes it slightly. This is going to be very awkward, but we're just gonna. Yeah, the, those it's it's a little bit awkward this side. The the way those ballistas and stuff are gonna be here. It's super awkward, but looks like that's what it is. All right. Uh, I would recommend you keep making snipers if you're if you only have 33 snipers at day 38 or something. You should really try and get more snipers going. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to focus on the foundry yet. I'm a little bit behind after what happened over here. So snipers is like the way to go for now at least. Now I don't recommend getting food too close to the edge. You want to keep space between the edge of the map and your ballista. Uh, your focus should be upgrading houses. Keep upgrading those houses. Keep getting more units, for now at least. And don't worry about the foundry just yet. It is super okay to build the foundry around day 40. Uh, that does mean that you would be... You wouldn't get Titans nor Thanados for day 45 raid, but you can easily, as long as you have enough snipers, you can very easily... for your mayor! You can very easily defend the way with just Shocking Tower and 50 snipers all right let's pause here for a moment and explain a couple of things so as you can clearly see my snipers are never standing still you want to always keep expanding don't think about final defense don't think about good chokes don't have any of that in your mind 
ever. Ever. Just keep expanding in a random direction. Just put the ballistas into random chokes. It doesn't matter. Uh, it is super important. The bigger is your expansion, the more stone production you have, the more iron production you have, and the more food you have, and the more space you have. All of that combined is gonna eventually give you really good income, a great economy, good space, lots of workers, lots of snipers, and all of that combined, it doesn't even matter what choke point you have. If you just keep the good choke, but you don't expand the direction uh, just to keep a good choke, but you may have like good amount of food behind that choke, why would you want to keep that if you can get lots of food out of that? So just make sure that you keep moving and keep expanding. Uh, a hint or a very good tip to give you, use units to stand here for a moment. Which is like, you send your snipers, couple of snipers over here, you let them stand here. Right? We're gonna do another part plant here. Now, what is a good, and you know, a lot of people have been asking me, Hey Shade, what is the good amount of snipers or a very, very safe amount of snipers to clear with? I would say about 50. Uh, but at the same time, I would say that there is no, there is actually no safe amount of snipers. I have been, I have been run over even with 100 plus snipers before, and you don't have a safe amount, but a very good amount of snipers is about 50. I mean, right about now, you, you just need to focus on getting uh, either Titans or Thanatos. This is your own personal preference, but I would highly, highly recommend Titans over Thanatos, because Titans have the ability to, you, you have the ability to micro the Titans. You can you have no way to micro Thanatos. Let's get that oil platform going. Make sure that you don't forget to do not forget to actually research shocking towers. Because we're gonna need it for the next raid. Looks like the direction where I expanded has no food whatsoever. In cases like this <coughs> when you don't find any food just save up a little bit of that money and go for a food under eventually. Now, once again, I highly recommend and very highly recommend that you get Titans over Thanatos. How many ballistas should you have in a choke? Usually two ballistas. I go for a safe uh, two ballistas per choke, even if the choke is this small. Like, for example, this ballista over here is actually terrible. Uh, this could very easily get overrun. If it gets, like, too many runners here, this ballista is straight up dead. And since this is my housing area, I could actually lose the game often. Just having one ballista here. I recommend that you have at least two ballistas per choke, no matter how big the choke is. Unless it's a one-tile or two-tile choke. Then one ballista is enough. Alright, let's go ahead and research Titans. Looks like this rain might split over here and here. Oh, you want to make sure that you're like properly walled off for this rain. But I did, I did quite a good amount of cleaning in the north already, so we're not really gonna pull in a whole bunch here. All right, once you get the titans going, just get a couple of titans. Having like four or five titans is a very good amount and safe amount of titans to have. That's exactly what I'm gonna aim for. Right, so in this case, since I did not find a single extra food on the north side, I'm gonna go ahead and save up some money now and research the food owner. If you run into the same situation, just save up the money and go for a food owner. Having this housing area here is super awesome. It's gonna give us a good income and good economy as well. Get the, get the titans before the food owner. Always. It's a must have. No matter how much income you, or no matter what economy you have. Go for the Titans first. They help your future raids so much. Now for Dave. Alright, so this is basically where the mid game ends. This is so now now comes the late game. I mean the mid game is clearly over because you have a good amount of uh, you have a good amount of land covered. Um once you finish your first, like once you get the titans up and running, I would say the mid-game portion of it is over because the titans 
the world looks so they make it very easy for you and honestly from here on out once you get the food hunter up and running right once you get that food hunter uh you get the second housing area two housing areas is more than enough to win the game with you don't need to expand after that anymore uh once you get the uh food hunter up and running you just want to make sure that you clear this area out clear it all up all the way don't think about oh god i'm gonna you know go here or something no you want to get this all cleaned out all the way and you can you can take back of like snipers over here clear out this corner and keep expanding with the snipers here keep building ballistas like next to the wall just it doesn't matter what chokes you have and you want to get this housing area here so once you get the food wonder you can fill this immediately with the houses now if you do that it will get you to about 4,000 over 4,000 economy I I've heard a lot of people tell me that hey man I'm I'm struggling getting my economy going and I only have like 1,200, 300 economy and whatnot. This is exactly why, because people tend to have too small expansion, which means you haven't really pushed for food and whatnot. Uh, so that's one of the reasons. Uh, also, make sure that you keep producing those uh, titans. You, your goal for day 50 is to have about I would say at least five titans five six titans is really good amount i think the most important part about mid game is pushing the snipers and pushing the stone houses and keeping your expansion going i know we had a bit of a situation over here but we learned a lesson i wasn't prepared for that that was my fault i should have had a ballista already built over there i had the resources for that learn from that make sure that you still have a ballista uh next to your rangers when you're whenever you're expanding just make sure that you have a ballista behind your rangers or or um snipers just in case because if i had that this would not have happened over here so lesson to be learned just make a uh, safety ballista behind them. all right guys we have been going far uh, long enough talking about things and such Gonna call it here. Hope this is helpful to a lot of you guys. Hope you enjoyed the mid game portion of it. I don't know what to talk about late game right now, other than <clears throat> the only advice that I can give you: keep pushing for, uh, keep pushing for about 80 to 100 stone production. Your goal is to get around 15 uh, titans, and I'll tell you the truth: with a food wonder on top of that, it's very hard to lose the game. Because you're going to be sitting at about five, maybe even 6,000 income if you can get there. And with that money, with, it's just the amount of money that you're making is very hard to lose with. Um, and yeah, guys. What else can I tell you other than thank you all so much for watching. We'll be doing more guides and videos in the future. Thank you everyone for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Or in the stream. Have a good one, everyone. Uh, we only have bye. like one farm of food, Come and then we're gonna have to. The plan is to clear this out, the entire farm here, which means that whenever you get a soldier, you can go down even with the hydro vaporizer. Hate so I don't have to keep my eyes low. Hit eyes low, get it in in Norway. Later on, what I'm thinking is doorways open up, yep, more cakes, and enough to sweep turn sour, more court dates. We burn it down though, and just live it up. It sucks ass when they ask about a living trust. Have one, cause I don't have shit. And when I do, I'm probably gonna just stash it. It takes time for the interest to make sense. It makes sense for the language to invest. I've been blessed with a brain and some rhythm. Those hands too square on the tortoise, and I'll win. Come on, where the problem's You see this huge cap?